peace and blessings. Thank you for joining Tribe Bukurim on this daily prayer and Bible reading journey. We will read through the Bible using the one-year Bible reading plan and end in prayer. Today is July 5th, and we will be reading from 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verses 1 through 54 and chapter 2 verses 1 through 17. Acts chapter 23 verses 11 through 35, Psalm chapter 3 verses 1 through 8, and Proverbs chapter 18 verses 14 through 15. Let's begin. 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verses 1 through 54. Adam's line to Noah. Adam, Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Descendants of Japheth. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tyrus. The sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Diphath, and Togarma, the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Rodanim, descendants of Ham, the sons of Ham, Cush, and Misraim, Put, and Canaan, the sons of Cush, Seba, and Havilah, and Sapta, and Reama, and Sapteca, the sons of Reama, Sheba, and Dedan. Cush became the father of Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. Mizraim became the father of Ludim, and Anamim, and Lehadim, and Naphtuim, and Pathrusim, and Casluhim where the Philistines came from, and Kaphtorim. Canaan became the father of Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Girgashite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arvadite, and the Zemorite, and the Hamathite. Descendants of Shem The sons of Shem, Elam, and Asher, and Arpachshad, and Lud, and Aram, and Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Meshech. Arpachshad became the father of Shelah, and Shelah became the father of Eber. To Eber were born two sons. The name of the one was Peleg, for in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. Joktan became the father of Almodan, and Sheleph, and Hazer Maveth, and Jira, and Hadorim, and Yuzel, and Dikla, and Ebel, and Abimael, and Sheba, and Ophir, and Havilah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan, Shem, Arpachshad, Shelah, Eber, Peleg, Ru, Serug, Nahor, Terah, Abram. The same is Abraham. Descendants of Abraham. The sons of Abraham, Isaac and Ishmael. These are their generations. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nebaioth, then Keter, and Adbeel, and Mipsam. Mishma, and Duma, Massa, Hadad, and Tema, Jeter, Naphish, and Kerema. These are the sons of Ishmael. The sons of Ketera, Abraham's concubine. She bore Zemran, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. The sons of Jokshan, Sheba and Dedan, the sons of Midian, Ephah and Epher, 
and Hanak, and Abida, and Eldea. All these were the sons of Ketera, descendants of Isaac. Abraham became the father of Isaac, the sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel, the sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Ruel, and Jeush, and Jalem, and Korah, the sons of Eliphaz, Teman, and Omar, Zephi, and Gadam, Kenaz, and Timnah, and Amalek the sons of Ruel, Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mitha, the sons of Seir, Lotan, and Shobal, and Zibion, and Ana, and Dishon, and Ezer, and Dishan, the sons of Lotan, Horai, and Homem, and Timnah was Lotan's sister the sons of Shobal, Alian, and Manahath, and Ebal, Shephi, and Onam, the sons of Zibion, Aya, and Ana, the sons of Ana, Dishon, the sons of Dishon, Hamran, and Eshban, and Ithran, and Karan, the sons of Ezer, Bilhan and Zeavan, Jaakan, the sons of Dishan, Uz and Aran, the rulers of Edom. Now these are the kings who reigned in the land of Edom before there reigned any king over the children of Israel. Bela, the son of Beor, and the name of his city was Dinhaba. Bela died, and Jobab, the son of Zerah, of Bozrah, reigned in his place. Jobab died, and Husham, of the land of the Temanites, reigned in his place. Husham died, and Hadad, the son of Bedad, who struck Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his place. And the name of his city was Avith. Hadad died, and Samla, of Masrika reigned in his place. Samla died, and Sheul of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his place. Sheul died, and Baal Hanan, the son of Agbor, reigned in his place. Baal Hanan died, and Hadad reigned in his place, and the name of his city was Pi, and his wife's name was Mehedabel, the daughter of Matred, the daughter of Mezahab, Hadad died. The chiefs of Edom were Chief Timna, Chief Alia, Chief Jetheth, Chief Oholibama, Chief Elah, Chief Pinan, Chief Kenaz, Chief Teman, Chief Mibzar, Chief Magdiel, Chief Iram. These are the chiefs of Edom. First Chronicles chapter 2 verses 1 through 17 The sons of Israel These are the sons of Israel Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah Issachar and Zebulun Dan, Joseph, and Benjamin Naphtali, Gad, and Asher Descendants of Judah the sons of Judah, Ur, and Onan, and Shelah, which three were born to him of Shua's daughter, the Canaanitess. Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of Yahweh, and he killed him. Tamer, his daughter-in-law, bore him Perez and Zerah. All the sons of Judah were five. The sons of Perez, Hezron, and Hamul. The sons of Zerah, Zimri, and Ethan, and Heman, and Calcol, and Dara, five of them in all. The sons of Carmi, Achar, the troubler of Israel, who committed a trespass in the devoted thing. 
the sons of Ethan, Azariah, the sons also of Hezron, who were born to him, Jeramiel, and Ram, and Kalubi. Ram became the father of Amenadab, and Amenadab became the father of Nashon, prince of the children of Judah. And Nashon became the father of Salma, and Salma became the father of Boaz, and Boaz became the father of Obed, and Obed became the father of Jesse. The children of Jesse. And Jesse became the father of his firstborn, Eliab, and Abinadab the second, and Shemia the third, Nethanel the fourth, Radai the fifth, Ozem the sixth, David the seventh, and their sisters were Zeruiah and Abigail, the sons of Zeruiah, Abishai and Joab, and Asahel. Three, Abigail bore Amasa, and the father of Amasa was Jether, the Ishmaelite. Acts chapter 23 verses 11 through 35. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Cheer up, Paul, for as you have testified about me at Jerusalem, so you must testify also at Rome. When it was day, some of the Jews banded together and bound themselves under a curse, saying that they would neither eat nor drink until they had killed Paul. There were more than forty people who had made this conspiracy. They came to the chief priests and the elders and said, We have bound ourselves under a great curse to taste nothing until we have killed Paul. Now therefore, you with the council, inform the commanding officer that he should bring him down to you tomorrow, as though you were going to judge his case more exactly. We are ready to kill him before he comes near. But Paul's sister's son heard they were lying in wait, and he came and entered into the barracks and told Paul. Paul summoned one of the centurions and said, Bring this young man to the commanding officer, for he has something to tell him. So he took him and brought him to the commanding officer and said, Paul, the prisoner, summoned me and asked me to bring this young man to you. He has something to tell you. The commanding officer took him by the hand and going aside, asked him privately, What is it that you have to tell me? He said, The Jews have agreed to ask you to bring Paul down to the council tomorrow, as though intending to inquire somewhat more accurately concerning him. Therefore, don't yield to them, for more than forty men lie in wait for him, who have bound themselves under a curse to neither eat nor drink until they have killed him. Now they are ready, looking for the promise from you. So the commanding officer let the young man go charging him, Tell no one that you have revealed these things to me. He called to himself two of the centurions and said, Prepare two hundred soldiers to go as far as Caesarea with seventy horsemen and two hundred men armed with spears at the third hour of the night. He asked them to provide animals that they might set Paul on one and bring him safely to Felix, the governor. He wrote a letter like this, Claudius Lysias, to the most excellent governor, Felix, greetings, this man was seized by the Jews and was about to be killed by them when I came with the soldiers and rescued him, having learned that he was a Roman. Desiring to know the cause why they accused him, I brought him down to their council. I found him to be accused about questions of their law, but not to be charged with anything worthy of death or of imprisonment. When I was told that the Jews lay in wait for the man, I sent him to you immediately charging his accusers also to bring their accusations against him before you. Farewell. So the soldiers, carrying out their orders, took Paul and brought him by night to Antipatris. But on the next day they left the horsemen to go with him and returned to the barracks. When they came to Caesarea and delivered the letter to the governor, they also presented Paul to him. When the governor had read it, he asked what province he was from. When he understood that he was from Cilicia, he said, I will hear you fully when your accusers also arrive. He commanded that he be kept in Herod's palace. Psalm chapter 3 verses 1 through 8 A psalm by David when he fled from Absalom his son. Yahweh, how my adversaries have increased! Many are those who rise up against me. Many there are who say of my soul, 
there is no help for him in God. But you, Yahweh, are a shield around me, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cry to Yahweh with my voice, and he answers me out of his holy hill. I laid myself down and slept. I awakened, for Yahweh sustains me. I will not be afraid of tens of thousands of people who have set themselves against me on every side. Arise, Yahweh, save me, my God, for you have struck all of my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to Yahweh. Your blessing be on your people. Proverbs chapter 18 verses 14 through 15 A man's spirit will sustain him in sickness, but a crushed spirit who can bear? The heart of the discerning gets knowledge. The ear of the wise seeks knowledge. Abba Father, thank you for loving us and being faithful to us even when we are not faithful to you. We fail you daily and yet you still bless us with your grace, mercy and favor. Thank you for blessing us with protection and provision in all that we do. May we bring glory to your great name. You are great and greatly to be praised. We recognize you in your power and ask your forgiveness for anything we have said, done or thought that was unpleasing to you. Create in us clean hearts and renew right spirits within us. Bless us with knowledge, wisdom, understanding, maturity, discernment, and focused minds. Take away any thoughts or feelings that are not in alignment with you. Open our eyes to the wonderful things of your law and make it an engrafted word in us. May we live lives according to your will. Denounce our sinful nature. Lay our sins at your feet and walk in obedience to you for your glory. Abba Father. We ask that you bless all kings, queens, government officials and people in positions of authority, protection and service to all people. We ask that you bless them with the mind and heart of Christ, making them capable of making decisions that will allow citizens to live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Take away every stumbling block designed to keep them from walking in your will for their lives. May they see and understand the importance of the position they hold and desire to do only good deeds as they serve the people of the United States of America. Allow them to recognize your leading that they may turn their hearts towards you for the salvation of their souls. May all that they do be for your glory. We present our bodies as living sacrifices to you and ask that you make us aware of your presence and what you are doing in the earth today. Cover us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Keep our physical bodies, our nation, homes, modes of transportation, places of employment, bank accounts, credit and investments and communities safe from all hurt, harm and danger. Expose and obliterate anything that dares to come against your people. Bring complete and total healing to our minds, emotions and bodies. May your perfect will be done in the earth. We pray this prayer over ourselves and everyone connected to us in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. May the shalom peace of God follow you for the rest of your days.